10 Safari Shortcuts That Everyone Should Know. What's up guys? In our first tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to switch between the different tabs. So what you do is you hold Shift, Command, and then hit the right key like this or the left key like this to switch between tabs. Now you can also use Control Tab like this or Control Shift Tab like this. Now to quickly close a tab, you just hold Command and then hit the W key like this. Command W and that closes that tab. Now what if you regret closing that last tab? Well, to bring the last tab back, just hold Command and then press the Z key like this. Now to switch between windows, you can hold the Command key and press the tilde button right here. Command tilde like that, or you can use Command Shift tilde to go in reverse. Now you can also navigate backwards and forwards using only keyboard shortcuts. To go back, hold the command key and press the left bracket key like this. And to go forward, press the right bracket key while holding command like that. Now to scroll a full page length, hold the option key and press the down arrow button or the up arrow button. Or you can also press the spacebar button or shift spacebar to go back up. Now to quickly scroll down to the bottom or the top of a page, just hold the command key and press the down arrow button like this to go all the way to the bottom and then press the up arrow button to go all the way to the top. Now, if you wanna show your favorites bar, hold the command key, the shift key and press the B button. That will show you your favorites bar. If you wanna hide it, hold shift command again and press B again. Now say you wanna open up a new private window. Well to do so, hold the command key, the shift key and press the N key to start a new private browsing session. And last but not least, how to open up the sidebar with the keyboard shortcut. Just hold Command, Shift, and press the L key to open up the sidebar to access your favorites, reading list, and shared links. And to close that sidebar, hold Command, Shift, and press L again, just like that.